Good morning. Hey, it's been a while since I've done one of these and uh, I've had this in my drawer now for quite some time, since July sometime, and I thought it, I better take it out and use it, give it a review, see what it's all about. This just might be the best cheap wireless lavalier microphone available right now. We're going to find out. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel, we talk cameras, we talk uh, camera gear, accessories. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and check the show notes for any further details. We are looking at the Pixel Voical Air wireless microphone system today. And I have used a variety of different uh, wireless microphone systems in the past, uh, most notably um, Fafine and uh, Kimafun, and both of them worked reasonably well. The Fafine uh, was a very large, I don't have it anymore, I'd show it to you, uh, very large profile, and uh, it worked reasonably well. And what I've been using regularly of late, probably the last year or so, is the Kimafun, which again I haven't had any complaints about except for the fact that it sticks out about a half, about half as much as the camera itself. And uh, right now it's on my A6400 and you can see how big it is um, sticking out there. That guy is almost half as wide as the camera itself. So it really sticks out there. And I, you know, it's fine for sitting there up against the wall. But if you're walking around, the Kimafun, you might be a little bit worried that you're going to break it off. The Pixel, the Voical Air wireless microphone system. You can see on the exterior of the box, it looks very much like the Rode Wireless Go. And uh, this has an operating distance of 70 millimeters. Excuse me. <laughs> that wouldn't be very far, would it? <laughs> 70 meters. Um, about 200 and, oh, 200 and some odd feet, I guess it would be. Think of that as uh, could be, you know, a little bit more than half a football. Field. So it has a six hour operating time. Nothing much on that side of the box. On the back there, you'll see a little bit more. Omnidirectional pickup mode, UHF uh, transmission type. Look at the dimensions 2.2 by 1.8 by about half an inch. That's pretty darn small. Let's get inside the box. Wow, look at that. That's a nice surprise. Nice heavy duty rubber, rubberized box, zipper, little uh, strip strap. Take this, unzip it, and look inside. Typical kind of paperwork. And you've got a cold shoe mount. Nice. And before we get into the units themselves, all kinds of different connections. Wow. Ton of stuff here. And they always they always wrap these things up so so well. <laughs> Makes Okay, so this is a camera cable. And It's kind of nice that it's labeled. Boy, and this is a phone cable. So if you have a phone that still has, you can see the TRS to TRRS ends there. So um, if you still have a headphone jack in your phone, that'll be nice. And what do we have here? Oh, 
nice that it comes with its own lavalier mic as well. Isn't that nice? The road doesn't give you that. And we've got charging, USB to, oh, USB to USB-C. Wow, that's a surprise. And there are two of them, one for the receiver, one for the transmitter. Excellent. Let's get to the units themselves. Notice on the back, nice clip, cool. And you may or may not be able to see, there it is, yeah, you can see an LCD screen here and the buttons on the bottom. I keep going off the screen here. I don't know why I'm doing that. Charging, power button, just go ahead and take this off right now. Nice and shiny. Now this one is the... This one's the transmitter. You can see the microphone right here. So I could just wear this clip to my shirt. Or I can plug in the lavalier. Which is what I'll probably do. And... Let's take out the other one, the receiver. Looks identical. There's no markings to it that will tell you that one is... Oh, that's not very nice. There's not anything on here that says receiver versus transmitter. The only thing is when you look at the top, you'll see that it has headphone jack so you can actually monitor uh, the audio, which is nice. You can see that the little clip also works just to like slide right into your cold shoe mount. That's nice. And if I'm using it as I will be on my ZV-1, I'm going to need this. Excellent. It's recording. I can see on the metering, it's running very hot. So I'm going to have to turn this down. And uh, because that's, that's peaking real badly right now. So that's very, very sensitive. And that's without even putting the, the uh, lavalier on. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and see uh, how that compares. Lavalier cord is pretty heavy duty compared to the other lavaliers I have. Microphone's a little bit large. That's a little bit annoying, but that's a minor thing. So let's take this off. And we'll plug in the mic. And we'll put the microphone back. And I'll put the, the lav down on my shirt. Okay, so... Looking at this again, and using the lavalier, it's still running very hot. So I'm going to have to really dial back the sound on the camera for it to be usable. We'll see. I'll, I'll put it right in the video here to see what it's like. So obviously I'm using this at arm's length right now. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> it should work fine for that, right? What we need to do is we need to set this up outside a little bit. Now, I am never going to go as far away as uh, half a football field. To me, that's like, why would I do that? But I would li do like to walk away from it several yards and use it that way. So let's go ahead and try that out. Go outside and into the smoky air. All right, so I'm going to walk away here.
And I'm about, oh, I don't know, 50 feet away right now. I could keep, I'm going to keep backing up a little bit. Keep, continue going all the way across to the neighbors. Now, this is probably, oh, I don't know. I should have brought out a tape measure, but this is probably about 100 feet. And, um, you know, I would probably never, ever walk this far away from my camera. So I can't imagine using it that way, but you get an idea now how um, good or bad this sound quality is from that distance. Now I could see myself this far away. Like I say, this is about 50 feet. You hardly even notice the unit up on the top of the camera. I can see the loop cable a little bit there, which is kind of a drag. But like I said, I'm going to fix that. Well, it's, we're going to find out together what this is like as I go and make the video itself, put it all together and edit it. Well, I don't know what you are thinking, but I'm thinking that sounds remarkable for a wireless, a cheap wireless lavalier microphone system, about a hundred bucks, depending on when you, you know, go to Amazon and, and look for it. I'm just blown away at how good it sounds. Wow. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure that you leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up really, really helps the channel. We do appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for, for tuning in. We do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.